In Rochester, New York local communists are outraged over the handling of a case where a 21-year-old woman threatened a massacre at East High School. Posting on Facebook using a fake Facebook account, Abigail Hernandez allegedly threatened to shoot up the school, it is believed with a shotgun stored at the home. According to Channel 10 News, three communist groups are rushing to her defense. Metro Justice, the Rochester Democratic Socialists of America, Rocksta, and Rock Citizen are the communist groups the three groups of tyranny seeking communists released a joint statement. The handling of Abigail Hernandez's case by the RPD and ICE is morally reprehensible and exposes serious weaknesses in the sanctuary resolution passed by the city of Rochester last year. The departments involved haven't given clear details on how Abigail, a student and dreamer, was processed and why the RPD is coordinating with a brutal and inhumane agency like ICE. Metro Justice, Roxa, and Rock Citizen are outraged by the clear lack of due process and the presumption of guilt being propagated by Deputy Mayor Cedric Alexander, the RPD, and ICE. Abigail, like all members of our community, has rights and deserves to be treated with fairness and dignity. As a person whose intellectual capacity is in question, it is even more important that we ensure she understands her civil rights as she is being pushed through an unsympathetic system. We demand a just process for Abigail, a halt to the deportation proceedings, and an end to the violence and abuses of ICE. These communists fail to point out that this woman apparently had the intellectual capacity to set up a fake Facebook page. They also do not point out that a shotgun is a relatively simple device, which requires little manual dexterity and which can be loaded, aimed, and fired easily. The communists are trying to use this woman as a political tool, which is what the left always does, using groups as tools. It is also reported by the Rochester Democrat and Chronicle that her parents say that she is of low cognitive ability and unable to conduct a massacre. They fail to point out that the law does not provide any excuses for lack of ability. It is unlawful to threaten a massacre anywhere. They also complain that she has mental health issues which the American left is always citing as a reason for confiscating firearms, yet in this case, ironically, the leftists are perfectly okay with someone who they say has mental health issues having access to a gun. This points to the blatant hypocrisy of the left, who will go as far as to stand up for gun rights if it suits their political agenda.